the reason why we have the great resignation right now uh, largely is because most of us have felt like our voices did not matter. And we have uh, not shared our thoughts and our ideas in places where we should share our thoughts and ideas. So I wanna get around to what I think might be some of the solutions. So we can talk a little bit about that. Um, we know that when people were outsized, they complained, uh, or people were, as people resigned and they did all the studies of people who resigned, thousands of studies and thousands of people resigned, um, millions of people resigned actually, um, only 4% four, only 4 of them complained about wage and compensation issues. It was not that. It was not that they were not getting paid enough money. That's the answer that a lot of companies will try to go to. It's like, we'll just pay you more. And so you'll, you'll keep tolerating all the things that we were doing to you, right? So it's not wage and compensation. Only 4% of people complained that there were wage and compensation issues. And 85% uh, of people suggested that it was their well-being that had declined. And they had to change their lives in different experience because their well-being had declined. 67% argued that um, they just basically couldn't even talk about mental health. They, there was no response from their corporations or organizations on how to deal with their experience as human beings in the process of working. Uh, and they couldn't talk about their emotional well-being. They couldn't talk about the things that they're because everybody's been taught and I want you to get this. We've all been taught to put your head down and do your job. Just put your head down and do your job with excellence. That's all you gotta do. But that's not all that you are. That's not all that we are as human beings. We're more than just the task at hand. We're human beings and we have feelings, we have emotions. If you think about it, statistically 83% of all of our decisions in life are emotional decisions. They're not tactical, you know, rational decisions. They're emotional decisions that we then provide the tactical and technical rationalization for. <laughs> you know, we make those emotional decisions because it feels right. Our gut tells us that it's something that we should do. And we've, we've, we've made miscalculations on many occasions because of the, the shiny red apple that's been presented to us, maybe sometimes in the workplace, maybe sometimes in relationships, maybe sometimes in society. And we forget that, you know, when we make these bad decisions, it tends to back up on all of us. And we feel like, oh my God, now, I'm, now, now, I'm, now I don't wanna make any decisions. It causes paralysis, back to that loneliness issue, right? It causes paralysis and causes us, our, instead of reaching out for help from other people, we go inside and isolate because we don't want to be embarrassed by the decision that we've already made. We don't want to accept it, that we probably made a bad decision and, and got ourselves into something that was more than we should have gotten ourselves into. And then we don't know how to ask for help and reach out and help others because everything tells us, put your head down and do your job. So. You know, I don't want to get on a, a, a psychiatric bent here, but I need you to understand that people are people and we respond to everything as human beings first. And as workers or producers or, you know, whatever functional expertise we have, second. 